Welcome to Curry's Eye on Climate. Here's the outlook this Wednesday, November 2nd, 2050. Good evening, everyone. And first up today, it's bad news for Blacktown. The mercury is headed past 50 for the third time this week and the blackout risk has been upgraded from moderate to high. Back in the present, Western Sydney's already sweltering. For one day last year in 2020, Penrith, Western Sydney was the hottest place on earth. But it's about to get a whole lot worse. By 2050, we may have more than 20 days per year above 50 degrees. That, in effect, is going to make increasing areas much more difficult to live in. Some may even become uninhabitable unless one is willing to stay inside 24-7 in air-conditioned accommodation. Scientists are already looking at extreme adaptation measures like burying entire neighbourhoods. So if you're west of Parramatta, best to stay underground and if you do venture out, be careful. A dust storm is expected to blow in from the Great Dubbo Desert around noon. Oh, yeah, parts of the Western Plains are desert now. Spoiler! Much of the southeast is dried out. Many of the farmers have gone broke as they abandon farmland, which is no longer viable. For the 81% of Australians who live within 50 k's of the coast, better keep your bags packed. We have to brace for more dangerous storm surges, higher sea levels, increasing coastal erosion, increasing flooding. To southeast Queensland and a surge warning. Yep, another one is in place tonight. Any remaining residents near the Gold Coast Lagoon, you know the drill. Head to the hinterland. And with subtropical Cyclone Barnaby moving south over the coming days. Residents from Narrambeen to Manly are being advised to stay well away from the northern seawall this weekend. And while the black summer bushfires were unprecedented, they do offer a glimpse of what's to come. That looks pretty tame now, 30 years down the track, when many of the remaining forests have now been eliminated. Many parts of the bush will become undefendable. Most aspects of Australian life will be forever altered, but the greatest impacts will be felt overseas. Natural disasters, famine and war will displace between 200 million and 1 billion people worldwide. Major cities could be abandoned to the rising waves. Entire regions could become hostile to human life. At a wet bulb temperature of just 35 degrees Celsius, the human body is unable to lose enough heat through sweating to survive. If we sail past the 2 degree threshold, then temperature and humidity will become a real existential threat for about three billion people living in the middle part of the globe. Going global now and sadly western Mexico has been declared a dead zone joining southern Pakistan and the former Gulf states as officially off limits to humans. And some devastating news closer to home and the Indonesian president has called off the evacuation of old Jakarta. From the new capital in Borneo he said rising floodwaters and collapsing buildings have made it just too dangerous for rescuers. A million residents are still unaccounted for. There is some great news, though. After six months, the great Amazon grass fire is finally out. However, the Siberian tundra fire continues to advance. This nightmare scenario is still avoidable, but not for long. These are not dystopian views for the future. They are a foretaste if we do not get our act together now. Not in 2030, not in 2025, but now. And if we don't... And that's your 2050 outlook. It's pretty grim. But hey, at least our politicians avoided some difficult decisions back in 2021. Phew! Back to you guys in the studio. Always wanted to be a bit weather reporter. Not with depressing weather like uh, that, though. You could barely recognise Carrie in the future there. <laughs> that was... Oof. The special <laughs> effects budget on that outfit. I'm looking pretty good for that many years ahead. <laughs> you do ahead. look amazing. You look great. You look great. But that's, my daughter's 30 at that point. It's terrifying. That's no time before that's yeah, what the reality is. That is, is terrifying. It's really, really scary. Mm.